were introduced to the Chief Super fans a little over a year ago when we learned about Red Extreme, popular Kansas City Chief Super fan, beating the shit out of X Factor, popular Kansas City Chief Super fan. How'd we learn about it, you ask yourself? Great question. We actually learned about it from an actual local news story mm -hmm. in which X Factor still had the scrubs on from being in jail, was walking in the middle of a parking lot, seemingly anywhere, still limping mm -hmm. and banged up. Probably for a lawsuit that was on the other side that he was yep. planning on selling with the insurance firm and whatever in court. And he talked about how he taught Red Extreme everything there is to know about being a super fan. And this is how he repays them. Yeah. They were quoting other people saying that X Factor had gotten a little bit too out in front of his skis. This guy got too big for his britches. He became the number one super fan for the Chiefs and he started telling everybody about it. His ego was so big it couldn't fit into fucking Arrowhead anymore. That's what people who know both Red Extreme right here and X Factor over there were saying. So when Red Extreme knocked X Factor down a couple sections yeah. Oh, yeah, in the yeah. stadium, there was a lot of people cheering for that mm -hmm. to kind of humble old X Factor. And the next time we had seen X Factor after getting knocked out by Red Extreme, he was obviously out in the parking lot walking down the street in front of a gas station with this particular actual news set. Actual, can't say this enough. Not internet. No, 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 not a joke. Not me, Marie. You turn on the local news in the Kansas City era, uh, <laughs> area. On the other side of the break, Kansas City Chief Superfan jumped at stadium. Mm. We have the first communication with him since his exit from the hospital or something like that. Boom, three minutes of them breaking it all down. At the end, actual news person saying, we'll, we'll keep you covered <laughs> as more develops. Mm -hmm. It's like, Jesus Christ, this is awesome. And we start diving into the super fans around other NFL teams and other, you know, hockey has them, basketball oh, yeah. has them. Everybody uh -huh. has these super fans. They dress up at the games. They're all in. They are really what they, you know, they want you to think the backbone of the fan group. I don't know if most fans appreciate this group of fans that's kind of taking a little bit uh -huh. too far, but the super fans certainly love them some super fans. We thought there's no super fan story that can get more absurd than what happened with X Factor and Red Extreme. There's no way this will be topped. In the moment while we're talking about it, we say this has got to be the most absurd super fan story of all time. Little did we know mm. oh. that the same exact team super fan would not only produce Helmet Man, who's on a terrorist watch list. Yep. Of course. Actual terrorist watch list, Helmet Man right here still on the terrorist watch, somehow has ties to 9-11, okay? Mm -hmm. I, this is just... What? The, uh, some, there are some ties to 9 He didn't orchestrate it. I think he was just... I think he was doing Probably something... Drought queen, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Something happened. It's fishy. Anyway, in the article we read, yes, yeah, they didn't say, like... It's weird. He planned 9-11, participated in 9-11, but he was in an area associated with something that happened with 9-11 that shouldn't have been put some on a terrorist watch. So it's not... I don't think they said, like, this guy is a, a threat or a liability, but they're certainly, like, got to watch him. Yeah, yeah. with got, the World Trade Center. Got to watch this yeah. guy with what's going on. That's Helmet Man of, of the Chiefs super fans. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's got to be the worst and most insane story of all super fandom, right? Yeah, Nothing can top good. that. Yep, definitely. We're all no same team's super fan family as a fucking bank robber. Yeah. What? Chiefs Saholic also known as Xavier Michael Babudar, is a career criminal mm -hmm. who was disguising himself as a fucking wolf who loved the Kansas City Chiefs more than Red Extreme, more than X Factor, was actually caught red-handed with a gun robbing a bank in Texas on Friday. Okay. Now, we do not know if this is a photo of him. This is from a 2016 bank robbery, I believe. And we could assume that there's a lot of wolf masks out there. So a lot of people are maybe robbing banks with the wolf mask. But the internet yesterday was saying this motherfucker, Chief Saholic, was wearing the same thing that he wears to games. He was walking right into banks with his costume on, with a gun, saying, I need What's to pay. I need to. Yeah, well, he does it in the games, too. He has a fucking Kansas City Chiefs yeah. hat at mm -hmm. the games over top, of the, over top of the wolf's head. He says, I need 
need fucking all the money you got. Do you know how much your stadium charges for beers? Do you know right. how much your stadium charges for nachos? Right. And I'm a wolf. You know, I got to uh -huh. howl every once in a while. <laughs> and I'm not sitting up in the fucking nosebleeds. No, no. no. I'm fucking chief Saholic. I need to be on the field. Give me all your money. That's what he was saying in Texas. Yeah. Friday, one day before the game, the Chiefs went against the Texans down there. He gets locked up. The Chiefs fans were worried about Chief Saholic. Mm -hmm. The Chiefs fans called the police. They didn't know his actual name. He had just gone by Chief Saholic for so long. Didn't know his actual name. They wanted to report that he had gone missing and they were worried about him. And then one of them said, worry no longer. We have found Chief Saholic. That's right. Yeah. He is sitting in a fucking jail cell right now with a $200,000 bond. <laughs> That's a big Bond. Jesus. Arrested at 10 18 a.m. on a Friday, middle of daylight. Who knows what he was wearing? Hopefully, the Chiefs of Holocaust costume Probably. with a gun. Give me your money. Cool, we'll give you the money. You're going to jail. Never going to see a Chiefs game again. And now everything's unfolding. You go back through some of his old tweets, the writing was on the wall. Somebody talked shit to Chiefs of Holocaust. He said, Unfollow then, homie. Nobody is holding you at gunpoint, mm. which is obviously something that people have said for a long time. Sure, Gun sure. to my head, would I do it? A little bit different when it comes from a fucking bank robber yeah. who is an armed bank robber. Mm -hmm. Here's another tweet that he had put out there before to Woe Leak. Just imagine me walking out of the bank last night. Woo. So that could be like, oh, this guy bet on a team. A lot of people would say this, but it's much different when it's coming from a uh -huh. fucking armed bank robber. Robber, just wait, there's more. Uh, where does this wolf get the money to bet a grand per game? Hope your taxes are in order. He said, I'll make a good living. Plus, I hustle in private. House money I'm playing with, to be honest. <laughs> oh. Chief Saholic, obviously people say house money, house time. It sounds a little different, though, when it's coming from an armed bank robber. I think he wanted to tell the truth. I think he was crying out yeah. for help. Yeah. I think there's different times where he's tried to say to people, like, you know, this isn't my money. It's house money. Mm -hmm. That's right. Nobody's pointing a gun at them. I've been there. When you point a gun at somebody, it's a little bit different. <laughs> they got to do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I fucking seen the eyes of somebody that's doing it. I think this is a man, Xavier Michael Babadar, whose first arrest comes in October 2014 in Utah for theft. And then he gets arrested again in October 2016, two mm -hmm. years later, oh. for theft in Utah. Then in February 2020, he's arrested in Missouri for an unknown case. Hmm. Records didn't show what it was, even though yeah. people were doing the research. Then on Friday, December 16th, he was locked up in Texas for armed bank robbery. His mother, I think, has done time in jail. His brother have, has done time in jail. This man has been a petty theft for probably his entire life in the family business. I think he was hoping that the Chief Saholic account could maybe become something that could fund him and he could live the mm -hmm. right way. Mm -hmm. But to fill that account with memories and pictures and posts that people can rally behind, he just had to fucking steal. Gotta rob some yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, do it. Gotta He's going to jail for a long time. $200,000 bond. I assume they're going to start tracking back to a lot of away games in which he is flexed at the games, being at the games, oh, yeah. and checking surrounding towns for banks that have potentially been robbed. And whenever, if they get any clips of these bank robbers running from the scene, yeah. they'll just pull up a clip from his fucking Twitter account that looks just like this. This guy tries to run sideways while running forward. That's a pretty distinct gate there. If they have any video at any bank of any robbery that's unsolved and you get eyes on somebody running out of, this dude's running completely sideways but moving forward. I have no idea how it happens. Impressive. It's one of the most impressive running, like <laughs> defying physics I've ever seen. Goes against every running form you could have. Mm -hmm. Stands straight up, arms are going directly sideways, feet are facing sideways, and he's moving forward. This wolf is fucking cheeky. Yeah. Okay, this is a cheeky yeah. wolf. Uh, and he's an armed bank robber, allegedly, that is happening right now. He's in jail. This is all alleged. But this thing could grow to who knows how mm. many banks and unsolved robberies that have taken place. And it was all this super fan from the Kansas City Chiefs. We do not think all Kansas City Chiefs fans are psychopaths. We do not think all Kansas City Chiefs fans are X Factor, Red Extreme, who are, you know, noted uh, super fans for the Chiefs who get into a brawl with each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do not think all Kansas City Chiefs fans are Helmet Man, who for some reason is on terror watch list. That's right, of course. We do not think all Kansas City Chiefs fans are Chiefs Aholic, who's an armed yep. robbing wolf. We will say though, Chiefs fans, 
<laughs> Y'all got some wild motherfuckers in your kingdom. Yeah. Right? It is all coming to the front, and we appreciate it. AJ, your thoughts on all that? I apologize for rambling there. I feel like a lot had to be said. He also sued uh, Robert Kraft yeah, earlier this year because he slipped and fell at the stadium. <laughs> so this guy is awesome. He's an insurance fraud yep. genius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. He's, a, he's an armed robber. <laughs> he's a petty thefter. Who knows what else Xavier Michael Babadar is doing? But I think he's been crying out for help this entire time, and he finally got caught gun-handed. He wants to get caught, doesn't it? Is it like the yeah. serial killers or any killer that goes back to the crime scene when the cops come and like kind of just keeps trolling and wants to check out their work? Is that what this guy's doing by posting online? And his his avatar or whatever on Twitter is the mask that he possibly wore to rob banks in, right? Well, not just on Twitter. He's going to the city's biggest event of that day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And standing in places where tens of thousands of people can see him and hopefully <laughs> more will. Like, he's, you think he's trying to blend in when he's at games? I just assume not. <laughs> yeah, probably uh -uh. not. The people at, I can't wait to hear a firsthand account from a bank teller mm -hmm. yeah. that was there. Yep. Yes. I, so we get, then I go to the game later, and they were doing this thing on the Jumbotron. And I'm, I told my husband, asked my husband, I, I said, that's the fucking. That's him. That's Rob, that's the same hat. You, 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 Chief's a holic. <laughs> Chief's a holic. Chief's a holic. This guy, this, he's on there. Going to put him on the jumbotron. Look, there's no way. Yeah, that was him. That was absolutely. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. All right, we don't have time for that. And then we move along. If he was robbing banks in this costume, without the jersey, obviously. Yeah. Right. If he just had, like, a jacket, a pullover, yeah. maybe a three-quarter, you yep. know, say a little yeah, bit yeah. more professional, Classy. Wolf, yep. whatever it is, that is awesome. Have we thought of, like, another super fan setting him up? Telling him to go rob banks? No, literally legit taking his mask, oh, putting it yep. on, Could be a robbing right that bank or... before. He goes, there's only Could room for me. Red Extreme. Red Extreme. Yeah. So you think Red Extreme? I just threw that name out there because that's the only other one I know. If anyone was that cunning. He had a gun in his hand. I it'd mean, be that son of a bitch X Factor. Well, it's the same Hat as man. What about Hat Man? He could set him up or Helmet Man. Helmet, Helmet man. man, dude. Helmet, Helmet man. man. How was he associated with 9-11? It was, an, it was uh, the um, It was the, bar the bombings. Yeah, the oh, bombing not 9-11. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the, the 90s. The Back in 93 or whatever? Bombing. Yeah, exactly. That Biggie was rapping about. Yeah, yeah. Up, like the world yep. trade, right? Because that yeah. was the thing that happened in the basement. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what they were connecting him to. Yeah, he was. I don't know. He was around there somehow. Could have been that van. We. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah it was not clean. Hats on. That's a legend. So I think this Xavier Michael <laughs> Babadar guy. Um. Could be. I think he was trying to run away, wasn't he? He was trying to run away from the family business for so long. Mm -hmm. He was trying to be accepted in the real world, and now. Probably in jail for 20 years. Sounds like yeah. his yeah. family was head of the KC mob, which is, if you guys don't know, pretty serious mob. Um, and he didn't want to do the family business. He's been, this is he was doing out. the family business. He was. He, he well, was he was. He has to do the family business or you're going to get sent to your room and not have fucking lasagna and skettis for dinner. But Xavier yeah. Michael Babadar? I was going to say, uh, yeah. that doesn't sound uh, What is he? Yeah, yeah, Babadar, yeah. too. Yeah. You, you, you guys think he's guy. using his real name? Babadini, maybe? No, no, so nobody knew his name. I know. They <laughs> called in a tip because he went missing. It might be Babadini. <laughs> They called in a tip because he went missing, but nobody knew his fucking name. They tried to find, figure out his name. They loved this guy. He'd been yeah. around a long time yeah. in the Chiefs family. They didn't know what his actual name was. Uh, he bought something at a Patrick Mahomes Foundation charity, and they tried to snoop around through the charity to get what his name was so that they could report that he went missing. And then somehow somebody found him, and it's, oh, he's in a penitentiary in fucking Texas. In Texas, they play games, too, with the judicial system. Oh, you know, yeah. Texas is really the place you want to get caught doing anything. You know, that is certainly where you're looking to get caught if you're robbing all over the country. So this is all alleged. Seems like it's all very real. And uh, I think the Chiefs should be pretty impressed with themselves that they have literally all backgrounds pulling hard for them more than any other team. You know